Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to if you're new. Today I'm going to be pruning my fruit trees. Now I will go ahead and give you guys a, for a good disclosure at the very front of this. I do not know how to properly do this, I have watched a bunch of videos, but I am by no means an expert on my videos, uh, on my videos. I am by no means an expert when it comes to this. I am very, very new. So, I'm going to go off of what I've read, what I've watched, what I've heard from people, and we'll see what happens. Um, I, I don't, I'm not gonna, like, kill them, but I... Things could go wrong in some senses, but we will hope that that does not happen. I have shears, pruning shears, <clears throat> um, and I will go ahead and I'm talking about. I don't want my neighbor's cars in this. Um, this is my plum tree, the last one that I planted. I am going to... film and cut a few different areas on this tree. Now, I'm going to cut this branch right here, this one. It's new growth, but it's up here and it's intersecting. I really don't want to show my neighbor's car. It's crossing with this upper branch. So I am going to prune that off. I will come back out here and get all these pieces up later. Um, and it's also one of the last ones to be budding, as you can see the rest of them are. Just do a clean cut. Um, I did just go get new pruning shears. Not for this, but for the simple fact that, um, I did need them and I need to do this video. So, cutting off little pieces. Um, this, because it's going to be going towards another branch, will also be cut you want to avoid doing multiple cuts on a branch um, clean breaks are always a lot easier to deal with i am also going to be cutting this one off here you also may notice um <clears throat> your trees are going to be um, you can cut off a th about a third of the plant comfortably and not have any problems and that is precisely what I'm going to do. This is this tree's first year being pruned. Um, I'm also going to do this because it's going out and intersecting with another branch. Um, and I'll just remove this and put it onto the ground and then I will come back later. Okay, I'm also going to prune off all of these lower branches. I don't want the tree to have anything super low. So I am just going to snip them off right at the source. Um, I'm also going to be doing this because it crosses with another branch on the back. If it will focus, it does cross. So I will be getting rid of that. This is growing towards the inside of the tree. I will cut it as well. Um, anything else that I'm looking for is anything that's super crossed. The only thing that I see is this one area right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. Um, this one branch is also very small. I'm going to cut this. I'm really not worried about it. And these two are going to cross as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this. Um, I'm not too worried about it. About cutting off too much of the tree. Like I said. Um, <clears throat> because it needs to be done. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just prune off some different things and talk to you guys. Um, we might make a bad decision. I want this done. Okay, so I'm going to prune off this lower one, even though it is newer growth, but I like this one more, or I like the other one more, so I'm going to... If I can get my pruning shears down there, I'm going to just prune it off. Um, it is going to be leaving a little nub. Um, again, not the best, but also not the worst. Oh, so cut this off. 
you don't want anything growing towards the center of your um, tree. So, off. now I could cut off some more. Um, actually, I could cut off this right here. Um, and this Y, you will see that there are two different branches. This is going towards the center. And I could go ahead and clip this piece off and leave those two branches that are going to grow out. Now, eventually, these will either go can straight up, or I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy off and have two different branches going. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and note again, I am not an expert on this. By any means, I'm just going off of what I've read and seen. Um, also, I'm going cut off this. This is a little high for my liking, so I'm going to cut right above this node. You will see that there is a node right here. I'm touching it with my printing scissors. Um, I'm going to, again, watch this, take my printing scissors, and de-head it. There are two different types of cutting. Um, I can't remember the second one, but I know heading is one of the things that you want to look for. Now, um, that was just one tree. That was one example. This tree is very good. Um, very good grower. Um, it's its second year now, and it's uh, second or third. I can't remember when I planted it, but it's doing very, very well. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I will... I could cut off new pieces. Um, I, the general rule is anything that is dead, deceased, or um, something else I can't remember. Again, not me being an expert um, here. I'm just trying to do, give what little knowledge I have. Um, I will probably actually go down here and prune off some more of these. I was gonna. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just prune off again some of these lower branches and keep this one that's been here for a while. And I might end up pruning that guy off later. Um, I'm really not so sure um, what's gonna happen with that. I know that. Um, I keep doing that. I know that this plant's going to thrive no matter what. Um, I just needed it pruned. And this is gonna be a very good thing um now i could also prune this I want um okay so you see the node right here had to find you guys on the camera um the node is right here i am going to cut above this at an angle so water runs off you can't see but i'm going to cut at an angle so water can run off and that was not a clean break at all so I'm gonna snip it again and again that's not very clean um, just have to hope that that closes that branch but by keeping the node facing out it's going to put its energy into growing a new branch outwards so next year when I'm pruning I'll have even more things to um, handle okay now this guy I'm not gonna go through every single tree um, I just want to go over some key points this tree is my peach. It is all over the place. Um, I'm going to do kind of the same thing that I did on the other guy. Also, your good time to prune is um, about now, actually, before your trees have opened because it's more stress on them breaking afterwards. Now, these guys are, some, some of them are actually budding now, but I am going to go ahead and cut off anything. I'm going to actually probably set up the camera and do this, so let me put my shears away and pause you so I can get you set up. Not flip back on that. <laughs> okay, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me. Hopefully good enough. I am going to go ahead, same thing that I've done on the other side, I don't even know if you can see me, hopefully you can. Um, I'm going to prune off the lower branches, I'm going to cut off anything that is pointed towards the center of the tree. And I am going to just do some thinning cuts for anything that's a little spindly, um, hanging down real low, um, anything like that. So you will see me making a lot of cuts on this guy. This guy needs um, to be shaped a lot better than what it is. 
again, rules are dead, deceased, anything that's crossing, anything that is um, going to interfere with another branch's growth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And again, you can cut off a good bit of your tree. Don't be scared to get your tree looking a little bad. It is okay. Um, your tree will come back. It's just, it's good to do this. Think about after storms and things like that, where your trees are being put under the pressure and um, branches are falling or stuff like that. Stuff falls all the time to give way to new growth and you need that. So that is what I'm essentially doing here. I'm not doing it so much to shape my tree. I am doing it to put efforts into other areas that need to be grown. I am not worried about what my tree shape is. I'm not trying to accomplish a singular shape at all. I am just wanting my trees to be healthy. And right now I do believe that this is the best way for them to be healthy and also increase production. Um, they have not produced as of yet, which is very sad. But, um, I think this is going on their third or fourth year in the ground, which is very good. So I'm hoping to see some, I'm hoping this peach tree will actually produce this year. Because last year it fruited, and I think birds picked it off. The fruits weren't on there very hard, um, very good either. So, um, as you can see, I'm just cutting off anything that is super low, that's going to take energy away from main part of the plant, trying not to leave any um, nodes on things that I'm cutting off because they will grow um, a whole new part of the plant, and if that happens, I'm just going to cut them again, um, which is okay. Not preferred, but it's okay. Um, I'm not trying to make any damaging cuts on these guys, just enough to increase production. Uh, and putting growth into places that growth needs to be. So you will see me making a lot of cuts that you might be like, are you sure you're doing this right? I'm actually not sure, but um, I am making very good guesses and I do feel like this is best for my trees. I have researched this topic a lot, so I do loosely know what I'm doing. Um, a lot of cutting, again, I have no clue how well you can hear me, but a lot of cutting, a lot of getting rid of branches that are crossing and stuff like this. I'm gonna cut this guy off. Might head off a couple things. This branch right here is growing inward. Um, I'm not so sure about this right now. I don't want to head this, but I might. I want this older growth to stay as long as possible. Obviously, but we do need to be very mindful of our choices when cutting and pruning. I will talk about pruning. Uh, you probably cannot hear me. I will talk about pruning more in depth when I go over my tomatoes once the tomatoes are in season, of course. Um, but I will be going more in depth with pruning at that time um, because I know how to prune tomatoes very efficiently, very effectively, and I am itching for that time uh, to arise, obviously. Um, cutting off anything lower, like this whole branch is lower, I'm going to cut the whole thing off, actually, um, because it's not needed. So, yeah. This guy... This is a lower branch. Cut it off as well. Um, I am making some pretty hard cuts to this tree, as you can tell. Um, the tree should be just fine. Uh, I'm not worried about the tree at all. <laughs> Natural occurrences happen all the time. So I'm just trying to make the best guesses for this tree and its overall health. Again, I'm not trying to shape. I'm just trying to get everything out of the center for good airflow. <laughs> I did lose one of my trees in the spring, not in the spring, um, I would say probably late summer, it started getting spots on it, and it was some sort of disease, and it eventually died, 
found out what looked like to be root rot, which was not very good at all to find out. Um, that tree is gone now. Um, I think I still have the stop of uh, the actual trunk of the tree because it needed to be here. Not, it didn't need to be, but I have it. Um, so yeah, just not shaping, but trying to do that. But with that tree, I'm going to be getting another one. I'll be showing you guys how to plant. You're on video. You're on video. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, just making some hard cuts for these trees. So yeah, okay. So to pick you guys up, that tree lost a lot. I did cut a lot off of that tree. Am I worried about it? Absolutely not. So. What I will do is continue cutting um, just some other random loose pieces of stuff. And I will be coming back out here in a little while to pick all these branches up that have fallen. Um, I do want to show you guys this and also have my choices documented for what I do with this tree. Because um, I believe that this is very important for me to, to note. So I will be, anything with this tree I will be cutting off um, in the spring if it's dead, but I am going to be making some pretty crazy decisions, actually. I don't want that shown. <clears throat> so as you can see, this tree, I had to put stakes. It is so tall that it's actually bending up here. I hate showing neighbors' houses. So I'm going to make a good educated guess as to where I can cut on this tree and I'm going to cut right above this node right here I'm going to do it at an angle and I'm going to cut it like I just did um is this kind of crazy absolutely I think I'm wild for doing this because I would have never guessed I'm also going to do this with this other tall spindly part again it is about good production. It is about good tree um, skills, if you will. And quite frankly, this guy was not doing anything. Um, it's still alive. Not worried about that. I will. Those are probably be the make to this tree, along with this little bit at the bottom, only because. Um, it's just growing in a weird way. So I will cut off a few extra pieces from this, but this tree looks very well. Um, I shall say um, it was just that one piece that needed to be pruned. And actually this one, because it's gonna be intersecting with this branch, I will do this. And yeah, when I'm doing this is that these branches will be cut off in the future. That the ones that I'm saving now most likely won't be here in the future and that's okay that is completely okay don't don't stress yourself out about that um i'm gonna be wrapping this up shortly but don't stress yourself out about things like that um you can't do that um stressing yourself out about it is not gonna help now with this guy this is my so wanted this on camera too this is my puny plum um there's not a lot of growth I'm going to leave this, and this is my personal choice with the matter. Only reason I'm going to leave this is because this is a lower branch that is actually growing. I want this to put in as much growth into growing its ultimate tree, and I see that growth. Yeah, it's lower, but I see it as being a major component for the health of that tree. That is a plum, and the one at the very end, the one that I did first, that was a plum as well. Um, this guy had some major problems completely decapitated it um, last year and I will be cutting off more of the actual um, I was told by someone who's handled trees a little bit that you don't want to just cut off the trunk like that out um, because it could other things with the tree so we will see if anything new sprouts from this 
it more than likely won't and in turn those lower branches will be to continue their life cycles um but yeah that is kind of an orchard update slash overview um i did go through the other day and tear out the top like inch of soil and put new compost on top which i'm sure you've been able to see with me cutting these branches and yeah so that's really exciting also um buds these buds are breaking. These are my pear. Trees have always done very, very well um, with growing very tall and very well. Um, I will be heading this guy, I think. Um, this is the one that I was not sure if it was going to live. Again, I don't want to walk you guys through all of it. Um, it, it needed support last year, so I was very mindful of um, not pruning certain things and stuff like that. I am going to be pruning anything that goes towards the center, and I'm going to be keeping those three main stalks and, uh, three main trunks intact. Yes, that tree does have three main trunks. Um, actually it has four, but the one is completely useless except for being, um, a support at this point. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the longer video. I know I could have made this a way shorter video, but, um, I like this. So, this is what we're going to do. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Again, do more research. If you're going to prune your trees, don't just take my word for it. Do your own research. That's what I did. Um, did a lot of my own research with this. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in another video. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.